Hello there, this is Robin Norgren, and I am your host from Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I am continuing on in a series called uh, Love Poems for God, and um, it is a series that involves the 12 sacred voices, uh, the most prominent sacred voices from the East and the West, and I gotta tell you, there is some beautiful, beautiful um, um, entries um, that represent each one of these um, for lack of a better way to say it, sacred icons who have helped us navigate um, our ways to um, loving and seeing um, God in our midst in the everyday world. Right now we're featuring St. Francis of Assisi and I'd like to offer you four poems um, as a way to bring you into the presence of God and really a deeper understanding of how much He sees you, and He loves you. The first poem is called A Wedding Gift. I hear you singing, dear, inviting me to your limb. I am coming, for all that we do is a preparation for love. I hear you singing, my Lord, inviting me to your throne. We are coming, dear, for all the toil you have blessed us with is preparation to know and hold the sacred. I hear you singing, my soul, but how can it be that God's voice has now become my own? That is just a wedding gift for our divine union, union, my beloved said. Ring out my clothes. Such love does the sky now pour that whenever I stand in a field, I have to ring out the light when I get home. Of course I am jealous. We bless the earth with each step we take and the firmament too needs our touch. Someday your tenderness will reach it. Look how the birds climb some invisible staircase and lay their hands upon him. Of course I am jealous when I too cannot do that. The seas waited long to sing. Not until we leaped out laughing was their birth of us complete. Tell me about your heart, my every word says. Speak to me as if we both lay wounded in a field and are gazing in wonder as our spirits rise. The Sacraments. I once spoke to my friend, an old squirrel, about the sacraments. He got so excited and ran into a hollow in his tree and came back holding some acorns, an owl feather, and a ribbon he had found. And I just smiled and said, Yes, dear, you understand. Everything imparts his grace. In all things, it was easy to love God in all that was beautiful. The lessons of deeper knowledge, though, instructed me to embrace God in all things. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and uh, subscribe to my podcast, share with your friends. And I'm so happy to hear any feedback or suggestions that you might have about other poets that I should take a look at.